Uh, Baywatch on another planet, huh? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right, University of Mars. Uh, what are these? <laughs> you wouldn't get to first base in Houston with that outfit, boy. Yeah, I know, Cookie. Okay. Oh, is, that, is that here a real sucker? This is real. Okay. You know, we ask folks down there, we ask cowboys, you think, and this, this question literally took hours in there, could John Wayne beat up Clint Eastwood? And guys would seriously go, Hmm, well, I don't know, Bill, what do you think? I mean, you know, they sat there going, yeah. Jim, what do you think? Well, I'll tell you, that Clint Eastwood, he can throw a push with that John. Well, okay, Chucky. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, gotta go with Wayne. Yeah. How you been? What have you been up to? What have you been doing? What's Baywatching? What's going on? Oh, I'm working on a new series called Baywatch Nights, <laughs> which is a spinoff of Baywatch. Because I understand you want the show to be on 24 hours a day all the time. <laughs> is that the idea? Yeah, you know, I, I realize that next year, that I, I, I'm gonna be like Barney, you know? I'm gonna be on television like nine hours a week, you know? Um, I think you're like Barney right now. Hey! <laughs> Listen, I, I threatened my kids with Barney. I, I made Barney into a little bit of a monster. I yeah. said to my kids, like, Barney's outside, gonna get you! You know, so those kids go right to sleep when they hear the name Barney. You know? Are you still doing a lot of recording? Are you still doing that? I'm in the studio right now, uh, just finishing the album, and I just talked with your producer, and um, they said you would might be gracious enough to invite me to premiere my song you on your here. show. Sure, I'd love to have it here. What a guy, huh? What a guy. Yeah. Then yeah. just come out? It actually will be in the stores on April 11th, and it is a remake of a song about 20 years ago called Baby, Baby, Falling in Love. Oh, and okay. it's the first time we've released a song in America after about six platinum albums in Germany. Not we just, finally came to America. Well, let, let me ask you about this. Let me ask you about this. Now, we're going to call the album Finally. You know something? We, we've always heard this German thing, you know? Yes. It's a huge in Germany. We. Oui. So uh, our announcer, Ed Hall, I said, Ed, I had a mission for you. I said, Ed, I want you to take this oh, David no. Hasselhoff CD and this David Hasselhoff uh, Yeah. yeah. I said, that, I want we actually you to, censored that. We cut that. I said, yeah. I want you to find some Germans, go downtown, <laughs> go to the German consulate if you have to, and see exactly how big a star David is in Germany. So here, here, oh, here. Ed went down there today. Ed, Where is it? Where? let's take a look. Hi, how are you? I'm Ed Hall from The Tonight Show. Yes. Now, I was just wondering if you could just verify this, this man. Do you know who this is? I can't give you a name right you, you don't know who it is? Okay. Is there a, an ambassador or someone here? Uh, go to window uh, three. Window three? Can you recognize this man? Do you know who he is? I think you've got the wrong person. You should talk to somebody else. You, you don't know who this is? Being honest, no. Maybe if you heard one of his songs, you might uh, recognize it. Let me just put those on and... I think I've heard the song. You have heard the song. Hi. I hope the camera is not running. Oh, well, it is. Actually. Well, yeah, you should you should put it down. What's what's the matter? What's going well, on? Well, I'm I'm from the uh, Tonight Show with Jay Leno, yeah. and uh, I was just wondering if you could uh, verify who this man. I have no idea. You know, no, no idea who I am. But I couldn't really recognize his. I wouldn't know if it was him singing or not. Do you think he could sing along a little bit? Myself? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, no. I'll sure. give you the lyrics. You can... No, no. Okay, I've been to the German consulate and the German cultural center. They were no help. If these people at Wiener Schnitzel don't know if David Hasselhoff is a mega rock star, no one will. I was just wondering if you'd do me a favor. Do you recognize this guy? Sure. You know who that is? Yeah. What's his name? Night Rider. Night, Night Rider, that's right. It's David Hasselhoff. Yeah. Uh, did you know he's also a big rock star? I didn't know that. Yeah, that's right. In Germany, he's a big rock star. Uh, you know what? Uh, maybe you could listen to one of his songs and see if you recognize him. Okay. You recognize that song? Uh-huh. You do? Yeah. You think you could sing along a little bit? Do. Do. That's great. Yeah, it's good. A, um, looks like a Filipino, a Filipino gentleman singing German in a winter schnitzel. Maybe that's where I should start my tour. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Do a 
<laughs> Let me ask you about this photo. Is there a problem getting that stick-on hair off afterwards? <laughs> it is. I tell you it is, but you know, each year we do an episode about octopuses. Yeah. You know, or octopi. Octopi. Maybe that's it. And they suck that hair right off. Oh, you. It's a wonderful <laughs> thing. <laughs> now let me now why is it so big in Germany as opposed to like other countries like uh, Luxembourg? Uh, actually, it's very big in Luxembourg because Luxembourg is um, a very small country in, in Germany, Austria, and Switzerland area. I, I had a German producer, yeah. and the music was really for that market. Right. Um, the stuff that I'm doing now is a little bit more R&B, a little bit more yeah. hip hop. You know, I wouldn't wouldn't really cross over here. Uh, maybe at a Wiener Schnitzel, you know? Whoa! Do, do you speak German? Um, no, no, but there are, there, there are certain phrases that kind of cross over. I'll tell you what, tell you what, when we come back, we'll take a little break, and when we come back, tell us some of the crossover phrases. All right is back. Ah, be right that back. That means okay. That means okay. I knew yeah. that. I speak German. Be right back right after this. David, <laughs> So what, 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 are, what are the phrases that... Uh... Well, um, there's a, well, there's a phrase that some of my German friends are actually in the audience created this phrase called the car is in the garage. And the car is in the garage means when things are okay. A couple nights they went out and had a little bit too much of the vino and they came back to their little Austrian chalet and they woke up the next day and they said, who drove the car? I don't know. Did you drive the car? I don't know. And they, they, so they were very nervous so they went in and they looked in the garage and they said, aha! The car is in the garage, which means everything is okay. So that's a... That's a little German expression. Now, the other side of that yeah. is the man is in the tree. The man is in the tree? The car is in the garage means it's okay. Right. The other side is the man is in the tree. Now, what, is, what does that mean? You may ask. All right. <laughs> the man is in the tree. We were actually shooting an episode of Baywatch in Hawaii, which is coming out. You probably saw some of the pictures in the star. Um, a very sexy bay watch. We found a very remote, <laughs> sexy beach. And one morning, my wife and I uh, got up and fed the kids and went out for a jog. And we, we found this pristine, <laughs> gorgeous beach that was deserted. So I was jogging. We did about, you know, a mile or so. And I was kind of sweaty. So I said, look at that water. So I just peeled off my top of my shoes and I jumped in. And behind me comes this beautiful creature, my wife, and but she doesn't have a bathing suit. So she comes out and swims up and goes, oh, honey, isn't it exciting? And I said, yes, look at this, we're in Hawaii. So we start kissing and doing what married people do once a day. Or, or if you have... Fighting and arguing? No, yes, if, or if you have children once a month. And so we start kissing and hugging and suddenly we're, we're, we're doing a love scene from Baywatch live. Um, and we decide it's kind of a cold, a little cold, you know, and say, well, let's, let's go back to the hotel. This is not really working in the water. It's more of a problem it's, for the guy if it's cold. It is. It? Yeah. Yeah. It's very uh, <laughs> cold. And so anyway, so to make a long story even longer, because I'm here, um, we... Um, uh, she decide, we decided to go back to the shore, so she's swimming away, and as she's swimming away, this is a true story, I look up, and there is a man <laughs> in a tree, in a palm tree at the very top, sitting up there like this. <laughs> so I said, honey, honey, there's a man in the tree. She goes, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, there's a man in the tree. You know, she's swimming like this, you know, no top on. And I'm going, honey, there's a man in the tree. She goes, yeah, right, big joke. So I said, hey, how long have you been there? He goes, long enough. <laughs> and my wife goes, oh my God, oh my God, dives underwater and now has because the Olympic medal for the longest underwater swim, nude, to the beach, and she's gone, oh my God, screaming. So I asked the man, I said, what are you doing up there? And he says, I'm looking for a fish. <laughs> and it's, it, but he had a, something in his hand and I thought it was a, a, a camera. Oh, like a tabloid guy. Yeah, so yeah. I thought, you know, well, he's a little guy, and I'm going to stand over there. So I said, hey. So I made friends with him. I said, what, what is that? He said, it's a telephone. <laughs> so I said, what are you doing? I'm calling my friends and giving them blow by blow. <laughs> so I, uh, <laughs> the wrong choice of words. Anyway, um, well, uh, anyway, um, anyway, so to make a long story even longer, 
Um, he, um, so now when, uh, he was actually looking for fish called now, a Was he a Hawaiian guy? Or Hawaiian he... guy, and he puts on these polarized lens and he looks for fish and, you know, little beknownst to him, they come running along the beach. But and what do you do when you see the fish? You're in a tree. You call your friends and say, I see the fish, go get them. And that's basically what he does. He calls up and oh, they and send they... the guys out. Yeah, so now the car is in the garage, everything's okay. When things are not okay, the man is in the tree. <laughs> It sounds like you've gotten a script for the next six Baywatches right there. You Absolutely. Whole, yeah, yeah. I saw your little quick. The man yeah. in the tree thing. Then. Right. Now, now, what is Baywatch Nights? Is it the same thing with the lights out? What is it, what is it showing? <laughs> Baywatch Nights is, um, um, there's a... Do you play the same guy? Same guy, yeah. Okay. Uh, they wanted me to do another series, but I thought you know, I couldn't do Mitch Buchanan at eight and Dr. Kildare at nine. So we wanted to keep the whole Baywatch yeah. fever alive. And I've always loved a series called I Spy. Right. And so I kind of wanted to bring back that off-the-cuff camaraderie between uh, myself and uh, uh, the black police officer, Gregory Allen Williams. And it really is, it's really exciting because it's, uh, Lou Rawls is also in it. Oh, yeah? And Lou yeah. runs a club called Lou Rawls, you know, Lou's Blues. You know Lou Rawls, you'll never find the voice of Lou. You'll never find. <laughs> and um, so he runs a nightclub. So when does that start? Blues. We're actually uh, starting shooting April 3rd. Oh, okay, so, so it'll be on the fall. All right, so it'll be Baywatch 24 hours a day. Yes. David, good to see Thanks you. Thank you. Stick around. These shot right. footers coming in. Thank you. David Hagelhoff. Be right back. We're right after you.